Hello everyone, my name is Laban and in this video we shall be seeing how to transfer the work that you've been doing from ArcMap into ArcGIS Pro. A lot of us have invested time and resources into working with ArcMap and this video will help us make the transition from ArcMap to ArcGIS Pro very seamless and painless. To illustrate this transition, we shall be using this particular ArcMap document. This ArcMap document has two frames. Uh, the first frame is a close-up of the road network within Kisi County and the second frame is a similar map except for the whole of Kenya. So within the first frame we have a number of uh, bookmarks which one can actually zoom in to different uh, particular positions within the map and as we move towards the layout you can see that the map layout has already been created and we have an inset uh, to see the full map as well as the close-up map of Kisi County. So how do we transition this map into ArcGIS Pro? Our first step will be to open a catalog template for ArcGIS Pro. So I'm going to give it a particular name. We can call it Transition Doc. And click OK. So what that will do is that it will open uh, an empty ArcGIS Pro template named Transition Dog. So the next thing we are going to do is to go ahead and go to the Insert tab and we are going to click on Import Map. So we are going to browse to where our particular map document is. And we're going to go ahead and click on the map document itself. So this action is actually going to import the map into ArcGIS Pro. And as you look at the catalog pane on your right, you're going to see a folder titled Maps. And the map is going to be imported into that particular folder. So as you can see, the map has been imported. And in a quick and painless manner, we now have our map imported into ArcGIS Pro. As you can see, everything within the map has been maintained, including the labeling, the symbology, and all the work that's been put into making the map. And that also includes the bookmarks that were created on ArcMap. So one can still zoom in and zoom out to those particular bookmarks. Now one thing that you may notice is that only one frame appears in the table of contents. So what happened to the other frame? So ArcGIS Pro works in terms of projects and each data frame is imported as a separate map. So if we open this full map over here, then our map is now displayed in a separate uh, tab. So we can actually view them uh, side by side and you have the TC data frame and the full map data frame. So all of these have been imported and maintained. And as you can see, uh, the rendering looks a bit faster because uh, ArcGIS Pro is a 64-bit uh, software and actually uses multi-threading to make processes faster. So just like that, we've been able to import our whole map. So what happened to the layouts that we had been working with earlier? So if you go back to the catalog pane on the right, you can actually expand the layout view and we have our layouts there, uh, our road network layout. So I'm going to open this in a separate tab. And just like we had in the previous uh, iteration on ArcMap, we have exactly the same thing on ArcGIS Pro. It has long been a request for users of ArcMap to want to have uh, the ability to add multiple layouts to one particular map and ArcGIS Pro allows us to do this through the import layout button over here under the insert tab you can see at the bottom here import layout file and one is actually able to import a different layout and assign the map to that particular layout Now another capability of ArcGIS Pro 
is the ability to work with both 2D and 3D maps within the same application. So uh, I've actually been working with a 3D uh, <coughs> document on Axin. As you can see, I have a document over here uh, where some building footprints have been extruded and I'd like to work with that in ArcGIS Pro. How can I transition that from Axin to ArcGIS Pro? So I'm going to go back to ArcGIS Pro and I'm going to move to where my Axin document is. So we have this 3D scene here over here. I'm going to just drag it into the Maps folder on ArcGIS Pro and on releasing it, the import begins. And you'll notice that once I've dragged it in, it's immediately recognized as a scene layer. So uh, I actually have it already and you'll notice that uh, the map itself looks uh, a bit more well defined than it did on ArcMap. Once again, this is a function of uh, being able to make use of uh, the crisp uh, drawing engine of ArcGIS Pro. And I can now use the navigation tools over here to see my work here from Axin. So as you can see, I have a 3D layer, I have my 2D uh, map over here, and I have my 3D map within the same application, and I'm able to work with them uh, at the same time or concurrently. Another important component of working with ArcMap is the use of toolboxes and scripts. So how can we import the work that we've done in terms of models, toolboxes, and scripts into ArcGIS Pro? Well, looking at the catalog pane, we can see we have a folder named Toolboxes. And adding a toolbox from ArcMap is as easy as right-clicking and going to Add Toolbox. So this will add existing toolboxes to uh, the project that we are working with right now. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to an existing toolbox that we have. So you can see we have two toolboxes over here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add both of them. And you can see it's quick and painless. It's very easy. They've already been added. So you can see one of the toolboxes has a model. And you might be wondering, does this translate from ArcMap to ArcGIS Pro? And it actually does quite easily. So I'm going to go ahead and open this uh, model. And you'll see that as the model opens, that it looks exactly like you'd expect it to look. Uh, the tools joined together to provide an output. And you're able to add whichever tools you may like by finding them within this particular tool over here. You can actually go ahead and validate the tool. Uh, you can run the tool just like you would in ArcMap. And you can see uh, this is part of the interactive ribbon uh, that we have on ArcGIS Pro. And it actually, uh, you can see the ribbon has sort of changed once we opened ArcMap. And uh, if you need to get out of this particular setting, all you need to do is just move towards, uh, actually you can close your model builder and you can get back to your normal frame. So uh, <clears throat> in terms of scripts, you may be wondering, uh, is the script that I've written in ArcMap applicable in ArcGIS Pro? Well, ArcGIS Pro makes uh, finding out if the script works easy by providing a tool for you to validate that particular uh, script. So using uh, the tools uh, menu over here, I'm going to look for analyze tools for pro so as you can see this tool actually analyzes python scripts for functionality uh, to see if that particular functionality is supported in arcgis pro so all you need to test is actually make your way to the particular script so i'm going to go to the particular script in question Take uh, our files. You can see some Python scripts here. I'm going to pick this and uh, go ahead and provide an output file.
So running this particular tool will analyze the script and see if it's possible to work within ArcGIS Pro. So you can see the tool is running. You can view details as the script runs. And should I get an error or a warning, it will actually let me know if where the script has an error and what I need to modify. So as you can see, it's been completed. There are no errors or warnings. So this particular file is great for use within ArcGIS Pro. So not only do can you are you able to import, if need be, uh, the this particular tool will actually help you know which particular things you need to change for the tool to work seamlessly. So finally, we're going to learn how to import styles from ArcMap into ArcGIS Pro. Now, should somebody want to share some sort of symbolization with you, they'll probably share a style with you in uh, .style file. And uh, to import that into your ArcGIS Pro project, all you need to do is go to the Insert tab and go to the Import button. And that will import an existing ArcMap style file to the project. However, one of the key issues that people migrating from ArcMap to ArcGIS Pro have is lack of access to the styles that they had, the default styles that they had in ArcMap. So how can we get those default styles from ArcMap into this particular project? So the first thing we need to do is we need to connect to the folder that contains those styles. So we can go to the folders uh, <coughs> folder on uh, the catalog pane. I had a folder connection. Now our styles are usually on C, program files, ArcGIS, the version of desktop that you're using. And at the bottom, here we have styles. So once you connect to that particular folder, let's minimize these. Then expanding that, you see that we have all the styles that were available in ArcMap. So all you need to do now is actually pick the style that you need. So for example, we could say uh, Civic and go ahead and import into the project. So that gives us access to all the styles that we've had before. What if you wish to have these styles in all your projects going on forward? Then all we need to do here is right click on the styles folder and say add to new projects. So that means every project that you create from now on is going to have the styles that are available in ArcMod. So with those few pointers, I hope that we've learned a lot about uh, integrating or uh, <coughs> importing uh, our work from ArcMap to ArcGIS Pro, and we wish you happy mapping.